the SpaceX Crew-8 mission was nothing short of remarkable, marking yet another achievement in space exploration. This dedicated crew spent 235 days aboard the International Space Station, pushing boundaries in science and innovation, while enduring the unique demands of life in microgravity. After months of work and anticipation, the Crew Dragon spacecraft successfully re-entered Earth's atmosphere and made a nominal splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean. However, following their safe return, the crew was taken to a nearby Florida hospital for precautionary evaluations, a standard NASA protocol. NASA later confirmed that one astronaut would stay in the hospital for continued observation, as a purely precautionary measure. This mission was intended to last the usual 180 to 210 days, but weather issues extended their journey by two weeks. The reality of a prolonged mission meant the astronauts faced additional physical and mental stress. Life in microgravity takes a toll on the human body, and astronauts endure extensive medical evaluations upon return to ensure their health and safety. Every aspect of their journey, from rigorous exercise routines to careful monitoring of physical and mental health on the ISS, is designed to prepare them for both the time in space and the transition back to Earth's gravity. Exploration at this scale demands innovation, and SpaceX's partnership with NASA is opening doors to the future of space travel. As we follow the Crew-8 story, we are reminded of the resilience and determination required for humanity's pursuit of the stars. Let's dive deeper into what happens after splashdown, and why every detail matters when our bravest return from space. If you want to keep up with the latest in space exploration and be part of this journey, make sure to subscribe and support our channel. After spending months in the unique environment of microgravity, astronauts face significant physiological challenges when they return to Earth. The human body, designed for gravity, undergoes a series of remarkable yet demanding adaptations in space. Muscles and bones weaken, bodily fluids shift, and the cardiovascular system undergoes strain, all of which require careful monitoring and adjustment. For the Crew-8 team, the mission's extension by two weeks added further to these challenges, as their bodies continued adapting to an extended period without the usual gravitational forces. The medical protocols following splashdown are anything but routine, they are meticulously designed to counteract these effects and ensure a safe transition back to Earth's conditions. Crew members are initially transported from the recovery vessel to a nearby medical facility, where a full range of tests is conducted. These assessments measure everything from muscle strength and bone density to vision and balance, the primary indicators of how well the body is reacclimating. For this mission, NASA exercised an abundance of caution, taking all Crew-8 astronauts to Ascension Sacred Heart Hospital in Pensacola for additional evaluations. While three astronauts were cleared to return home shortly after, one astronaut remained in the hospital for continued observation. This decision, though not based on any immediate health emergency, highlights NASA's commitment to the long-term health of its crew members. These precautionary steps are in place to detect any hidden or delayed issues that might not be evident during the initial recovery period, particularly with the physical strain of re-entry and gravitational readjustment. Microgravity-induced changes don't simply resolve once an astronaut is back on Earth. Muscles must gradually regain strength, bones need to rebuild density, and even fundamental activities like standing and walking require a period of retraining. The combination of exercise regimens and medical care on the ISS helps mitigate some of these issues, but a thorough recovery still takes several months. Space medicine has become a field of precision science, as experts continually adapt protocols to keep pace with the growing length and frequency of missions. These extended missions provide NASA and its partners with vital data, paving the way for the next generation of space travel. The Crew-8 mission was not only groundbreaking in its scientific objectives but also in its duration. Spending 235 days aboard the islands, the crew's mission extended beyond the usual 180 to 210 days due to unfavorable weather conditions in the Atlantic Ocean during hurricane season. This delay introduced new challenges, as each additional day in space adds to the physical toll on the body. Extended missions can lead to muscle atrophy, reduced bone density, and shifts in fluid distribution that impact vision and cardiovascular health. Despite the controlled environment of the ISS, 
where daily exercise routines and health protocols help counter these effects, nothing fully prepares the body for the return to Earth's gravity after such a prolonged stay. One of the mission's final hurdles was re-entry, a process demanding the utmost precision. SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule executed its re-entry with only minor irregularities, including slight deviations with the drogue and main parachutes. Despite these minor adjustments, the descent was nominal, according to NASA officials. These small deviations illustrate the complexities of re-entry and how even seemingly minor factors require careful handling. Any misalignment in the descent process could impact the crew's comfort and safety as they experience intense gravitational forces upon return. The Crew-8 re-entry also reflects the challenges of achieving a balance between extending mission duration for scientific gain and the physiological effects on astronauts. Every mission is a learning opportunity, providing data that will refine future protocols, especially as agencies like NASA and SpaceX prepare for longer journeys to destinations like Mars. These extended missions, while arduous, are critical in gathering the knowledge needed for humanity's next leap in exploration. With these experiences from Crew-8, the conversation is shifting from can we stay longer in space, to how can we make long-term space missions sustainable for human health. The resilience of these astronauts showcases not only their strength but also the dedication of the teams behind them, who work to ensure that every mission paves the way for a future where space becomes a second home. The longer we can support human life in space, the closer we get to exploring new frontiers, turning science fiction into reality. Returning to Earth after a mission in space is no small feat, especially for astronauts who've spent extended periods in microgravity. The human body, accustomed to life under Earth's gravitational pull, must readapt to physical forces it hasn't experienced in months. For Crew-8, this process is particularly vital given their mission's length and the gradual toll of 235 days in space. Microgravity causes a shift in bodily fluids, muscle loss, and decreased bone density, meaning each returning astronaut must undertake a carefully structured rehabilitation regimen to regain strength, balance, and coordination. Once back on Earth, the crew undergoes a multi-phase recovery. This starts with immediate medical evaluations, checking cardiovascular health, bone density, and other critical systems impacted by months of weightlessness. NASA's expert medical teams design individualized rehabilitation plans, considering each astronaut's physical responses to microgravity. These plans include strength and endurance exercises, coordination drills, and sometimes even relearning the basics of balance and movement. Astronauts often spend hours in physical therapy over several weeks or months to restore their full mobility. NASA has made strides in developing countermeasures to mitigate these challenges. On the ISS, crew members dedicate about two hours daily to exercise, with specialized equipment that mimics the resistance training typically needed for muscle and bone maintenance. However, even with these precautions, the body cannot completely retain its earth condition strength. Extended missions like Crew-8 push the boundaries of our understanding, helping researchers refine these countermeasures further. Studies on long-term rehabilitation after space missions also inform future mission planning, as NASA and SpaceX anticipate missions to Mars or long-term lunar bases, which will demand even greater resilience. For Crew-8, this recovery period serves not only as a physical journey back to Earth's conditions but as a testament to human adaptability. Each astronaut's return offers vital data that informs the next generation of space health protocols, allowing future explorers to stay healthy in space for even longer periods. Through the Crew-8 mission, NASA and SpaceX continue to redefine what is possible, using every experience to build a foundation for the endurance required in deep space exploration. The SpaceX Crew-8 mission embodies the resilience, innovation, and determination driving human space exploration forward. Each challenge faced, from the prolonged time in microgravity to the delicate process of re-entry and recovery, adds another layer of knowledge to what is already an intricately crafted science. Returning from 235 days in space, the Crew-8 astronauts demonstrated not only the strength of their bodies and minds but also the effectiveness of years of preparation by NASA and SpaceX. 
their mission underscores the adaptability needed for extended space travel and offers insights essential for planning future, longer missions to places like Mars and beyond. As more missions push the boundaries of time and space, each success builds confidence that humans can thrive beyond Earth. Yet, missions like Crew-8 remind us that space travel is still a frontier filled with unknowns. Every medical evaluation, adaptation strategy, and countermeasure brings us closer to making long-duration space travel sustainable for the human body. For the Crew-8 team, their recovery is just beginning, and their journey home marks another step towards shaping the future of interplanetary missions. Exploration requires courage, but it also demands foresight and preparation. The lessons learned from Crew-8's return will help shape how we care for astronauts' health, prepare them for long-term space residence, and ultimately make the dream of human exploration throughout the solar system a reality. With each step, we're not just reaching into the stars but setting the stage for a day when humankind calls space home. If you're inspired by these groundbreaking efforts to expand our reach into the cosmos, consider subscribing to our channel. Join us as we explore the challenges, triumphs, and uncharted territories of space exploration. Support our journey to bring these incredible stories from space to you and stay tuned for more on how the resilience of astronauts like those in Crew-8 is paving the way for the future of humanity among the stars.